Our coverage continues now. We turn to Action News reporter Brianna Smith, who is live for us in Wayne, Pennsylvania. Brianna? John, as you can see, it is raining right now, but it's much calmer compared to before. But we're on South Wayne uh, Avenue, and the Radnor Fire Chief says he's keeping a close eye on this street because it's known to flood. And as you can see, puddles are already forming. And now this street already flooded this morning, and the chief says at one point, four cars were flooding and then eventually towed. And as uh, you can see for yourself, take a look at these photos from around 1130 this morning. Fire Chief Joseph McGuire says they were surrounded by about four feet of rain. And within 45 minutes, they had six water rescues and had to remove five people from their vehicles. And that's not all. A tree also went through a house. Now, Chief McGuire says, thankfully, there were no injuries. But as you can imagine, people were scared and shaken up. And he says that they're prepared for anything else that comes their way. Streets pretty much clear right now. Some debris out there. Um, we're talking about another round of storms coming in. If it does, we anticipate having some more issues. So we have crews on station right now, standing by, getting ready to go. Chief McGuire says they have 10 to 15 firefighters and EMS workers ready to respond, as well as people trained in swift water rescue. And a major reminder, the chief says, do not drive or walk through flooded areas. He says not only can you ruin your car, but you also don't know what's underneath the water and you can get hurt. And Wayne, Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News. John? Yeah, a lot of damaged cars there. Brianna, thank you. We're also hearing.